think it's doing the thing. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oops. Well done. <laughs> that does a reload. Here's the beginning of the song. It is excellent. Uh... Is my microphone volume good? I have no idea. Like, relative to the background music. It is a bit low. Okay. But it's fine. I'm going to still lower this down just slightly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Uh... How's this, since I lowered it a little? Hello. Cool. Alright. Wait, no. I can still barely hear. TBH. Okay. Uh... I have now lowered the desktop audio volume, like, more. How is it doing now? Okay, awesome. Cool. Uh, this is a relatively open game, so I'm just going to do the thing while we explore. Talk to Terezi. Wow, check out who finally woke up! We've been trying to wake you for an hour, but you were unresponsive to even the most senseless of cane drabbings. My head hurts. Probably due to the aforementioned nub drubbings. Will you shut up about the drubbings? Put that cane away, damn it. It's not like you even need it. I had a horrible dream, okay? Oh? I finally woke up on Prospect. You did? Oh god, I can't believe I missed it! Yeah, well, sorry we can't go on our enchanted golden magic carpet ride or whatever you had in store for us, but now it's too late. Dreamy is dead. I know. All of us are. Prospect was completely destroyed. Oh shit, really? Guess that's not too surprising. Anyway, I saw the demon again. I think I know who it is. Who is it? Also, <laughs> Terezi does the question mark face. <laughs> yep. I don't know how it's possible. I need to search for more answers before I know for sure. Stop being mysterious and tell me! No way, I'm not jumping to hasty conclusions. If it turns out I'm right, then I guess we both get to say I told you so. <laughs> nice. Ah, fine. So, you saw him just before he destroyed Prospect. Yeah, and that wasn't even the bad part of the dream. That was an hour ago, what have you been dreaming about since? I don't want to talk about it. The bottom line is, everyone here is forbidden from going to sleep. Forbidden? Yes, as your leader, I am ordering all Prospect Dreamers to stay awake, no matter how tired you get. Um, alright. Do you even get tired? What's that supposed to mean? All you do is run your mouth all day and sniff and lick people inappropriately with that shit-eating grin. I don't think I've ever seen you yawn. I'm getting pretty tired right now, as a matter of fact. Tired of your bullshit! God, I'm tired. Yep. <laughs> the sprites in this are awesome. Get low down from Terezi. So guess what? We've been in contact with some aliens from the universe we created. Okay, so? Don't you think that's kind of neat? No, it's boring, who cares? I thought, as our intrepid leader, you that was something you might want to know. Alright, as leader, I recommend we deliver them a delightful gift basket via transuniversal bulge thrust. Are you taking this down? <laughs> I'm not saying we need to make friends with them or anything, but we've begun to suspect they have something to do with our session, paradoxically speaking. Is anything ever not paradoxically speaking? Maybe we can figure out a way to get ourselves out of this jam? Nope. I already told you. We're doomed. A meaningless race of aliens. Won't change that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of important shit to do. 
You mean a lot of important wandering around aimlessly and talking to people? Yes, exactly. Yep. <laughs> Finish responding to Kanai and Memo. Kurt Casino Tenez, that's right now responding to Memo. Okay, everything's fine, I guess. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Do not worry. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing this thing in the wrong order. I'll just save that exact paragraph for last. <laughs> <sighs> Talk to Solix. Hey, KK, most of these computers are fixed. So unless you've got a real good reason, I don't think I'm gonna bother fixing them. I'm fine, thanks for asking, man. Your concern is really appreciated. I appreciate it. Have you a battery pack that we know? I don't know. I do not know. Don't ask I'm fine. Thanks for asking, man. Your concern is really appreciated. I appreciate it. Fuck you and your prima donna garbage. I'm not going to break down sobbing because you passed out at the sight of a little blood. Why don't you man up? Hey, fuck you. I turn around and see a crazy girl with a chainsaw and a tsunami of brown. Is it too much to ask that we not turn our little hideout into a slaughterhouse? What do you want me to do? Get down on the floor and kiss your fainted corpse on the lift to wake you up on a non-existent prospect? Let's not do this, okay, man? Just this once. I don't have the energy. Yeah, okay, fine. So what's the deal with these aliens? Is it anything I should give a shit about? No, not at all. They're useless and uninteresting, like I'm sure you've already gathered. I recommend we don't bother with them, though Aradia Radia seems to think we'll all be in each other's sponges invention, inevitably. Whatever. I'm pretty committed to not having anything to do with them ever. Good, that's what I like to hear. Uh-huh, sir KK, by the look of some of your future memos, it would look like you could get pretty wound up by this thing, soon. Man, fuck my future memos. No way, they're hilarious. Best, best thing about having you as a leader hand down, hand down. Fuck that sentiment, and fuck you, and fuck future me. Okay, what about Path You? It's Path You cool? The only guy more irritating and stupid than future me is past me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Talk to Fafari. Finally! So, Karkat, what was your dream like after you died? I have been glubbing like crazy over here wondering about it. I'm not talking about it, just don't go to sleep. Oh wait, you're a Durst dreamer, right? Never mind, knock yourself out, literally. You look so nervous and pale. Were you scared of what you saw? What about not talking about it don't you get? There's no reason to be scared. They are not as terrible as they look. When Durst is destroyed, I am going to go to sleep and prove it. I will prove it to you, and to them as well. Them? Our new friends! You'll see, everything is going to be okay. This is pretty exciting, don't you think? Nah. Glad to that attitude. Eh. <sighs> be future for fairy. You cannot be future for fairy, because in the future, future for fairy is asleep. Talk to Aradia. Have you decided to troll them yet? Troll who? Never mind. Let's pretend I didn't say that, and let's also pretend it isn't inevitable. What the front buckling nookstent are you talking about? Nothing. It's not like a decision you are about to make will invariably lead to every problem we have and will ever face, as well as the great undoing itself. Just keep listening to your angry impulses, it will all be fine. Actually, I guess I could kill you right now and stop it all from happening, thus dooming us all in an offshoot timeline. I might consider it if we all weren't doomed anyway. 
And if you weren't my friend. You know what was great? When you used to not be a robot. Cause this robot thing? This is bullshit. If we weren't all about to die, I dedicate our whole team to finding a way to bring you back to life. But we are, so guess we'll have to ride out the next few hours with a spooky tin can psychopath. Sounds like a blast. <laughs> Be future, Radia. Hmm. You cannot be Future Radia, because in the future, Future Radia has exploded! Whoop. Talk to Nepeta. Oh god, this is so great! They look like they are so much fun! Who? Oh. The humans! What's a human? The alien kids! Come on, car cat! You need to stop taking all these silly naps and get up to speed! Wait, what have you been doing? You haven't been pulling your RP nonsense on them, have you? Talk about a shitty first encounter. Okay, as leader, I forbid you from RPing with them. But Equius already be But Equius already forbid me from doing that. Not that I am listening to him, but shh. Wait, he did? Okay, then as your leader, I order you to RP with them as much as possible. Be as obnoxious about it as you can. Yay! Hi, Tato. I cannot do the thing where you are, like, not in my room because you are evil and annoying and would be evil and annoying upon other such folks as, uh, sibling friends and whatnot, so I would, like, appreciate it if you would not do the thing where you do the thing. Please don't hurry. I know, I'm sorry. I gotta stick in here for now, though. <sighs> Cat, indeed. Speaking of which, what a coincidence that... ...runs right after talking to Nepeta. Anyway. Meow. Talk to Tavros. Hey, you're awake. Hey, you know what would be an awesome time to take the opportunity to saw your lower torso off and replace it with robo-legs? No. Any goddamn time before now, you know, during our whole adventure when they might have come in handy? Also, when I didn't happen to be standing around, that would have been so sweet. Oh, sorry, I mean, I was kind of asleep too, so I didn't have a lot of say in the matter. Did you see him? Who? The demon, when you were asleep. No. He was right fucking there! I told you to look, but I guess you were too busy frolicking the sky or whatever you do on that gaudy yellow moon. Oh, man. Yeah, sky frolicking was probably definitely the thing I was preoccupied by. Anyway, that was just before he blew the place up. Whoa, is that what happened? Idiots. Just don't go to sleep. Spread the word. I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm too excited about these awesome legs. Look at me go. Whoops. <laughs> Darn. Looks like someone needs to stop playing games for girls. Talk to Equius. This robo-like bullshit was your idea, wasn't it? I only supplied the technological means through my lobbying for a Hooven Quadrupedal Lower Torp. I only supplied the technological means, though my lobbying for a Hooven quadrupedal lower torso went tragically disregarded. Okay, I hereby order you to never even think about giving someone horse legs again, is that understood? Yes, I can follow that order, sir. Are there any orders you would like to issue to me in a manner that is similarly forceful? I also order you to stop getting off on my orders for like the 500th fucking time. Yes, and you will continue to order me to do so. I command it. <laughs> I need a towel. Go have your butler get you one, you snotty douche. Arthur is dead, and so is his ghost, remember? Yeah. Sorry, man, I forgot. Didn't mean to bring up a sore subject. Is this where we embrace jocularly, as if we are bros? I will be as gentle as possible. Don't touch. Eh. 
Talk to Briska. Hey, Briska, what are you doing? Please, for the love of God, let it be something inconsequential and benign. Carcat! Man, you were out for a long time. I have made so many plans for these humans while you were asleep. Do you know how many plans have been made? Probably all of them, even though plans aren't really an exhaustively quantifiable thing, and we both fucking know that. Yes! All of them! So many irons, too. Guess where the irons are? Please don't let them be in the fire. Please don't let them be in the fire. They are... in... the... fire! God fucking damn it. Look, whatever you're doing, stop. Or put it on pause. Can you please do that? I wasn't going to bother with the humans, but now you're making me nervous. Just give me the chance to look into this matter, and then I'll brief everybody. Maybe with a speech or something. Can you do that? Please? I just said that with eight E's. Fine, I will take a break, Carcat, but only because you were so polite about it. It will give me a chance to go get some stuff done. Eh. <sighs> Talk to Kanaya. Hey, I just got done talking to you in the past. Remember you were fucking around with the volcano and I passed out for an hour? Vaguely. That was now. Hey, guess what? New orders. No more impromptu amputations, okay? Impromptutations? Yeah, keep your lipstick capped, okay? I don't want to turn around and see rainbow blood spraying every way, which way, just because you think the place is a little drab. I did my best to clean up the blood before you woke up. Thanks for that. Also, another new order. Don't go to sleep. Don't worry, I don't really want to find out what happens if I do. Any other orders? Such as those which might pertain to these alien children? Yeah, my orders are that they're completely irrelevant and who cares about them? How are those orders? Because I'm your leader, that's how. They are not irrelevant. How do you know that? It's a bit complicated. But I believe you should give them a closer look before you decide what to do about them, if anything. Perhaps then an especially leaderly speech will be in order? Okay, I doubt that, but whatever. <laughs> Look at this shit all over the floor. Barely been here a couple hours and this dude turns the lab into his own personal clown sty. Talk to Gamzee. Hey, can I help a tired looking brother get his motherfucking nap on? Sleep in this horn pile? Only 420 boon dollars. <laughs> Hell no. I just slept on the floor for an hour. Does it look like I need a nap? Besides, I just banned everyone from sleeping, so don't go pulling this horn pile innkeeper shit, got it? Also, stop dancing, it's awful. Okay, well if you get your mind all changed up about that, then you know where to find the file, best friend. Oh yeah, also clean your fucking garbage off the floor. If this shit isn't gone in a few hours, I'm seriously going to flip out. Hunk, 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 hunk. <laughs> Talk to Aridin. Ooh, what a fucking vulgar display this is. Aaron out all his dirty laundry like that, putting a big fucking pile of horns in the middle of the room. At least I got the upright basic decency to hide my shitty wand pile somewhere in the lab you won't find it. Don't even bother looking. Why do you assholes have piles of things? Just stop. Eh. <sighs> Transportalize. Wow. That is a lot of places. Open chest. You got some boon dollars. Who cares? You got the trusty classical. Hey, remember how I showed you Rex Duodecim Angelus? Uh, Carcat was actually wielding the classical in that video. Transportalize. Whoa. Looks like we can't interact with any of these. Except perhaps this one. 
transportalize. Open chest. You got a whole boon back. Yawn. <laughs> you got a tilt death manual. It's so thick you could kill someone with this thing. And if you master what's inside, you just might kill everyone with it. You got a Tinkerbell plush! Rest in peace, little buddy. You got a whole mess of boon bucks. You guess you could use them as paperweights, or something. You got a teapot! You got a wicked elixir. You chug the beverage immediately. Your vitals remain unchanged. You got a beautiful work of fine art! Just... why? Why would this exist? Why would someone put it in a chest? You got home smell you later. So fresh. Get it? XD. Transport lies. Whoa, this place is looking fancy. So many horrible memories for past car cat. Be past car cat? Yes. This is the situation. You are now past car cat. You are pretty much freaking the fuck out. <sighs> That's baby trolls. They're so cute. You don't even want to think about that day. Slime and wigglers everywhere. You got a box of fruit troll ups! <laughs> Tongue tattoos on every roll. Betty Crocker troll? Fruit troll ups, fruit flavored. Orange creamsicle colonoscopolips. Conoscalypse. Troll Crocker's vile tendrils are everywhere. Eh. Oh yes, also the dog voice here is Toby Fox. Who made this song? Open chest. You gotta... Oh dear god. Get that filth out of here. There's Karakad's path. However, I skipped a few options earlier. Also, what's down here? Alright. And we'll explore this in a moment. Okay. So skip a couple options. For instance, be Briska. Just please go find some remote corner of this lab, build yourself a nice web, and sit there peacefully and harmlessly until we all die, okay? Die? Lame. Carcat, there is absolutely no chance we are going to die. No, with my luck, I got all of it, remember? Eh. <sighs> yeah. 
Yes. Hey, what's your deal? I'm talking to you. What do you want? Nothing, really. It's just you haven't said one word to me since we got here. In fact, we've hardly spoken in weeks. Not since you gave me that nice dress. Oh, sorry, I hadn't really noticed. That was great, remember that? What happened to all that? You used to meddle and bug and fuss over me all the time. It was annoying, but kind of fun. Do you want me to? I don't know. It would be cool if you could catch up sometime, though. What's there really to catch up on? Whatever. Stuff. Anything. You are really strange, fussy things. I don't get you anymore. Okay. That was a pretty sweet chainsaw work earlier. Pretty brutal, really. Didn't think you had it in you. Hey, you weren't settling a score with him by any chance. What? I've got a pretty keen nose for revenge. Could it be that you had a thing for him and you were upset when he went for me instead? Hmm? Did he really go for you? That's not how I remember it. Yes, I think I must be onto something here. Anyway, if that's the case, sorry about the bad break. Could you leave me alone? Hey, which one are you spying on there? Someone new to meddle with? I said leave. Fine, God. Sorry, Tato. I know. Talk to Gamzee. Friska, hey, you want to, uh... What? Shit, I was all gonna ask you if you wanted to hop in the horn pile for a bit of motherfucking Shedi, but... I don't think I will, because I'm pretty much scared of you, so yeah. Ah. <laughs> hey. Hey. So... Well, what's up? Nothing. Standing by the old horn pile, I see. Yep. Yeah. Okay then, carry on, I guess. God damn, Riz, why is it still gotta be so flippin' awkward like this? Come on. We used to have a good thing going, remember our campaigns? That shit was epic, where are you even gonna find a rivalry like that? It was fun, Aridan, while it lasted. But it ran its course, I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, as if I'm not so over it, please spare me your disdain, mind thing. I'm working on finding a new rivalry which will make ours look like a kitty game. Which, oh by the way, it was. If you say so, Jewel Scar. Best of luck with that. Best of luck with that. Too bad the luck's all mine now. Ha 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 ha. Be future, Aridan. You are now briefly future, Aridan. In the future. Talk to Briska. Fuck that fucking witch blew up my computer. Okay, not literally the witch, that's, that's not literally her title or anything. The seer, I guess. Fucking lousy Nova goddamn rotten seer. Aridin, do I detect black romance in the air? Spades, 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 spades. Shit, you spider trap witch, there are serious emotions happening nowhere here. Poor Aridin. I must say, I am really disgusted by how you resorted to following orders from that low-class slob with the hideous mutant blood. I thought you were better than that. I thought we were better than that. I... You're absolutely right. It's disgraceful. I think it is possibly time to admit I have some sort of problem. I would very much like to honor my position on the Hemo Spectrum and mistreat those beneath me, and yet... Whoa, alright, I was just messing with you, dude. As if I really give a shit about any of that. <laughs> eh. Talk to Tavros. Tavros, they look amazing. You look amazing. Being able to walk suits you so much better. Have I ever told you how much of a loser you were when you were a cripple? It's a real shame about how that had to happen to you. No, but thank you for saying so. I mean, for the good stuff you said, not necessarily the bad stuff. 
You're welcome. Now, how do those bad boys handle on stairs? I don't know, but I've been advised to stay away from them. Worst advice you could ever receive. I demand that you spend the next several hours mastering stairs. Uh... Come on, what would that fakey bullshit fantasy asshole Rufio say about this? Oh man, he would most surely be all about me climbing lots of stairs. Per the reassurances that I pretend he says, and all the self-esteem he insists me to have. Exactly! Now hop to it and don't think twice about it or I'll know. We don't want to have to do it the hard way now, do we? Oh my god. <sighs> Tato, I... Knievel. 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 There's... Sorry, you will be patient for now, okay? That's much longer. Talk to Nepeta. Nepeta giggles at the spider girl's funny googly eye. She just can't seem to get used to it. Marquise Mindfang shares the innocent young cat girl's giggle as she surreptitiously reaches for an ornate dagger concealed in her boot. No, she won't roleplay as Mindfang. You only do terrible things when you are her. Why don't you pretend to be something cute for a change? How about my spider Sona? It's adorable. <gasps> no, it's not. You only do terrible things as your spider Sona, too. I changed my mind. Why don't we just not do any role playing instead? Ah. So, you sure seem excited by the alien kids. What gives? Blub, I wouldn't say that. Oh? The whole thing doesn't seem like it's worth getting worked up about, to be honest. Eh. Sigh, they're just kind of dull. Life is dull and uninteresting. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little depressed. You probably wouldn't understand. Sure I would. We all have our off days. Hey, if you need someone to talk to, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, did I get you good? Hey, Solix, did you catch any of that? A live one jumped right into my boat. A real suckerfish. <laughs> How do you like that, spider hag? Sea dwellers represent. That was surprisingly nasty of you. I'm impressed. Thanks. I hope I didn't jeopardize our friendship with that little stunt. Friendship? I don't know if... Wait a minute! Why, you... You almost got me again! Have I ever told you how awesome you are, Pikes? <laughs> eh. Talk to Aradia. Hey, dead girl! How's being dead treating you? Couldn't I ask you the same thing? Yeah, sure. If you want to be technically inaccurate. It would still burn, though, so touche. It's really weird that you keep antagonizing me. I could snap your neck with a twitch. Yeah, but you won't. Okay. What do you want? You saw the demon up close, right? You fought him. Or at least your doppelgangers did. Yes. What was he like? Uh, what do you want to know specifically? Primarily, I'm interested in your take on his weaknesses, tactical disadvantages, stuff like that. Are you seriously intending to fight him? Wouldn't you like to know? Not especially. Talk to Solix. Solix, I never got to simultaneously thank you and reprimand you for tracing that money transfer. On the one hand, it made Terezi rich, and now she won't stop lording it over me. Okay, I'm pretty much 100% positive she's not actually doing that, but okay. But on the other hand, you've opened up a world to me with this discovery. So many people to meddle with, so many plans to hatch. So really, my reaction to it is twofold. Somewhat bipolar, if you will. Don't you think that's appropriate? Man, just... Go away. I'm not in the glubbing mood. Stop saying fish things everyone thinks is annoying!
The Scourge Sisters are back in action. Yeah! No, we are not. Will you stop with that already? Sure we are. You'll find out. Just give it a few hours. I will give you a few drubbings. Yes, that's the spirit, Red Glare. Blar, please do not start using my old flarping name. It's so embarrassing. <sighs> yep. Let's go check out that downstairs area. You got a broken bow and arrow. Wonder who that was. You've got a chainsaw. Still some brown stains on it. Yuck. You got a fairy poster. Lovely, albeit imaginary. You got a beautiful muscle beast nude. You feel culturally enriched by this masterpiece? You got the Crosby Top! Say, who the heck is this douchebag anyway? You got a broken robot part! <laughs> Whoa! Genetic abominations, once so threatening, now pose no challenge at all to players of your godly status. They are lucky to be alive and behind glass. They are lucky to have your pity. Yikes. Yep. These are some pretty scary looking monsters. Is there anything over on this side? Nope, oh, no chest. Ah, well. Haha, <laughs> found it. You got some glasses of fresh milk. But what is there to even get milk from around here? Oh, sweet Jesus. Yikes. Here we are. Let's go check out Friska's room, since we apparently missed it. Um, she's the symbol, right? You got a magic eight ball! You throw it down in disgust. Spooky. You got Tavros's severed legs. Why? Why would you keep these in a chest? Another Dodeca screen? Seem to be a lot of these things lying around. You got the Fighty Spear! Examine huge broken container. Looks like a terrible monster has escaped. Better be careful. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right? You're gonna murder this thing if it crosses you. You got a fairy poster. Fake. A monitor with a map of some place on Alternia displaying impact sites. It looks like it crashed and froze at some point during the Reckoning. What's this place? Who's this douchebag? I guess... Steel. 
Oh man, it's Choose Your Own Adventure time. We're gonna aggress. You ain't got your dice on you? So stupid! Steal. Gate to slip. Mine's up. Plus all of it. <laughs> that was a success. You got the fluorite octet. Maybe you should keep these on you in the future. Open doors. Whoa! Examine boon dollar pile. Lousy stupid goddamn Terezi finding all these boon bonds and instantly rendering your fortune worthless. You'll show her. That snotty rich kid too. You got a heap of flirt manuals! You got a pair of rocket boots! Pachoo! You got a cuttlefish! Oh no. It just kind of... is there now. Aww. You got a broken 8-ball! Very bad luck! Whatever, you'll just deal some more. Unlock door. You have not set the password for this room yet. You have no reason to hide anything in the super secret back room as at this moment. Perhaps you will in the future. Be future Vriska? Yes. You are now future Vriska. Unlock door. You got a bust of Nick Cage. Swoon. You got a wild consort. Examine Cage Shrine. You tell me another and I'll rest you myself. That is a promise, Miss Rose's sister. Of course. Another plan. What do you say we cut the chit chat? A hole. <laughs> Pass Friska? Yes. <laughs> he just jumps across.
There's one more we have not been yet. Namely, Trezzy. Hey, if it isn't Miss Moneybags, how are you enjoying your fabulous wealth? If it was me, I would feel ashamed to get rich that way. By having a secret admirer just hand it to me like that, rather than earning it. That's just me, though. God, your jealousy is ridiculous. Nobody cares about stockpiling meaningless treasure other than you. Will you grow up? I guess you're right. I'm just giving you a hard time. You know, like the good old days. Don't you miss our friendly rivalry sometimes? Ha ha ha! Friendly? Sure, so to speak. Anyway, just so you know, you're not the only one you can play into a chump can play a jumpy boy and manipulate him into doing what you want. In fact, I'm not even going to use any powers, just to prove it's no big deal. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see! Oops, smell. Haha, <laughs> hate it a bummer you never died. No. Oh well. Anyway, let's get this party started. I declare the chumpy, impressionable human boy off to be... on. Ugh, you are so crazy. Fuck this, Alex. Are you still spying on that insufferable prick? Seriously, a dude gives a girl a few bucks and suddenly the caves he can't keep her nose off him. It is so predictable. Shut up, Socks. He's cool. I don't get why you don't like him. He reminds me of you a bit. You think I'm cool? Sometimes. How often? Don't say half the time. Uh -uh. Oh god, I walked right into that one, didn't I? Talk to Favari. Terezi! We can't just hide here forever. We have to kill the demon. I know, but how? He seems invisible. Invincible? If a thousand Aradia bots couldn't kill him, what else do we have? The humans! They are the answer. Ha 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 ha. Seriously? Yes! I am sure of it. Um, okay, if you say so, Favari. Oh, is that what the fairy thinks? That's nice. Haven't you understood anything about how paradox space works? Of course they are the solution, but they are also the problem. Every effect is also its own cause. Our two universes except exist on opposing sides of a Mobius strip, which is of course nothing but contradiction. Enjoy engineering the present conundrum as you try to solve it. I'm completely done with this. Great talking to you, Aradia. That was a blast, as usual. Terezi! So tell me, who's your favorite? Favorite what? Human kid! Oh, of course, you like Akit Permusk with the black glasses. Oh my gosh. This is the name that Dave got for himself. And when he sent Jade the music file way back in Act 3. He is pretty cute, but mine is Jade. Oh, really? Yes, I have tried to make friends with her, but so far she thinks I am just teasing her. It's pretty frust frustrating. I will persevere, though. Talk to Tavros. Looking pretty cool, Tavros. Thanks, I feel great. And really confident suddenly. Like, as if Rufio gave me both the high fives he has, and then sort of one of those bro massages, as if to say, you're the champ, or that kind of thing. Don't let anyone ever tell you Rufio's not real. If you believe hard enough in imaginary things, that makes them slightly less fake. Okay, that's great advice to know. Now I'm going to get some more leg practice in. I feel like I could take on all the stairs in Paradox Space. 
and I just pretended as hard as I could that Rufio winked in agreeance. See you later, after I'm definitely successful at all the things I try. Bye, Tavros. Talk to Equius. It's mystifying. In spite of my warnings, he seems absolutely committed to being attracted to cases of stairs like a gosh darn magnetron. Now that I think about it, I should probably deactivate his pelvic magnet magnetron. Equius. <sighs> Aren't you at least a little disappointed we never got to hang out together on Prospect? I don't know, I guess. It's not like we didn't get to hang out plenty of other places. You don't get it. There were all these things I was planning on showing you and stuff we could have done together. It was supposed to be special, dummy. What was so special about it? The fact that it was a moon made of gold? Big deal, the place was way too bright and garish. Ah, you are so frustrating. Just... never mind. Hey, Kanaya! Are you still ogling her? What? Is that what I'm doing? Yes, it is obvious. Why the, why the infatuation with that particular human? Hmm... I guess I find her sort of... intoxicating. Oh? Intoxicatingly underwhelming. <laughs> Be future, Kanaya. You are now briefly future, Kanaya. In the future. Talk to Cardcat. Hey, have you ever heard of the Green Sun? Yeah, it's got something to do with their plan to kill Noir. I see. Anything more specific than that? Nope. I've got no idea what it is, what it does, what its role in the plan is, or if it's got any chance of working. We should probably worry about our own problems. Yep. Talk to you, Arden. Hey, Tech, can you go give a four-horned, mustard-blooded, land-licking sack of rubbish over there a message for me? Tell him to put his honey where his mouth is and meet me outside for another duel. I am not mediating between you two. Seriously, could you make your advances any more obvious, Aridin? If you're waxing Ashton for me, fine, I guess I'm flattered. But he's totally not even interested in the type of, uh, rivalry you want with him, okay? Please sink and murder, I am truly pathetic, aren't I? Yes, absolutely. Poor Aridin. <sighs> Examine Unireal Air? Oh my gosh. It's almost impossible to cross the room without tra without tripping over this goddamn thing. The mess in here is Unireal. I mean, unreal. Okay, let's go beat Carcat. One last time. Go see what the heck Tabros is up to. And check this. Finish responding to Kanaya Memo. Current Christian of Genesis, right now, respond to Memo. Okay. Everything's fine, I guess. What happened? I passed out for about an hour. Fucking embarrassing. You are out of your goddamn mind, you know. Shit hive maggots, you mean? Yeah. In a good way, though. Okay, I'm shutting this memo down for my past self, since he's currently lying unconscious on the floor an hour ago. See you in the future now. Till then. <sighs> yep. Then he goes to talk to Kanaya, and that's how that sequence of events happens. Let's go see what's up with. Uh, what you call it? Tavros. Hold on, we forgot to beat Terezi and check out her place. Right. Transport lines. Ta da! I know, it's pretty big. You got Son of Lemon Snout. 
He smells no less sweet than the corrupt sander, and yet his lies, how they stink! The lemon never falls far from the tree. <laughs> keeps happening. There we go. I warned you about stairs, bro. Examine Jard Fellow. Okay, seriously, why does this puzzle have to be here? I mean, really, what's the point? Who the fuck isn't going to figure this out? This just literally serves no purpose. Who designed this? Why? Okay, there. Problem solved. That was so hard. The lab technicians had too much time on their hands. Open doors. You got a boon back! How trivial it seems now compared to your fortune of boon bonds. You chuck it into the chasm below. You got a fairy poster! Yeah, pretty much there's... Pretty much nothing that's not fake about fairies, that's for sure. You got a music box time machine! You got a beagle, I guess. Wearing this, you are all but indestructible. You got a wild consort! You got a pair of rocket wings! Swoop! You got a flirt manual. Oh man, it's a branching path. You got the Demon Bane Ray Gripper. Deadliest chainsaw in the universe. You got a gorgeous piece of fine art! Absolutely breathtaking. You got deuce clubs. Least deadly pair of juggling clubs in the universe. You got a brain fork! For some reason, you guys like to nab each other's weapons and tuck them away in your own private chests. It's kind of silly. Seriously, what do you need this thing for? You got the assassinated corpse of Liation Pumpkin Snuffle. Some bastard got to one of your key witnesses. The plot thickens. You got, like, 13 boon dollars or something? Whoop-dee-doo! You toss them into the abyss and make a wish. Eh. <sighs> His tyranny! <sighs> you got your trusty drawing chalk!
this chest was already open. Somehow. Take the whiff. Crossfit's toast. Oh. Examine chest. There's nothing in here. Perhaps in the future you will think of something important to put in here. Be future Terezi? Yes. You are now future Terezi. The meteor has rotated. Durst is now within sniffing range. Oh no. The demon just destroyed Durst a few minutes ago. Smells like grape jelly. And burning. That would be a really weird thing to smell. You got the dragon suit! You done your extremely stylish dragon suit. Now that stubborn counselor will now that stubborn counselor will no longer have any excuse to withhold evidence critical to the case of the prosecution. Oh my gosh. Oh great. You got some gift art from a cool friend. <laughs> oh great. You end up doing something here. It would appear to be some gold day Resi shenanigans. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's just how it jeffified his tyranny. <laughs> Spongified. Meow. I'm sorry, Tato. Soon. Okay. The doors are jammed from overuse. That's what you get for hoarding so much useless bullshit in your private chests. Oof, ert, ow, no, ouch, oof, ow, meow, ag, it keeps happening, oof, ouch, ow, no, ouch, ow, oof, ouch, erg, uh, no, ouch, oof, ow, ow, owie, erg, oh no, ag, I warned you about stairs, bro. Hi, Nevada. The mighty and astounding Dragonid Legislacerator enters the esteemed counselor's office with an urgent but friendly requisition, pursed magically in her majestic snout. The distinguished counselor nods in the most dignified and legal of manners at the dashing and well-dressed Legislacerator. She double-checks a series of impertinent legal clauses and rubber stamps the and rubber stamps them with wild abandon for the most judicial sort of approval possible. This all looks to be an order, she said. Please follow me. She also said. Whoa. Aww. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> North. Here you go. Feel free to borrow it as long as you like. Oh, also as tempting as it may seem, please don't go to sleep in that comfy pile of wands there. Both Crossfit and Durst Dreamers have been banned from napping until further notice. Open chest. You got a drawing tablet! Examine pile of shitty wands. At least someone has the decency to keep his trash tucked away. Take nap in pile of shitty wands? No. Transport lies. Be past Terezi? Yes. Okay. Let's go be Caracat and check on Tavros.
Well, you know what Equius did. I warned you about stairs, bro. I was warned about them. And yet, I threw caution to the wind. It turned out that Rufio was almost as wrong as he was fake. <sighs> Poor Tavros. Okay, that right about ends Alternia bound for the moment. We have done everything there is to do in this game. So, yeah. Good poof and close off this memo. I mean stream. Ta-da!